My favorite place to go on GitHub is to uh, Canada Learning Code uh, to get some uh, open source workshop materials that I can uh, use to host uh, coding workshops with my students. So I have been to many of these uh, with Canada Learning Code, so I feel confident uh, hosting them with my students. So there's one, for example, um, I would like to do, which is one I attended a long time ago, and it was uh, Intro to Browser Extension. And what I love as well is that they have it in French. So they have here Teens Learning Code. Uh, this one is Lady Learning Code Intro to JavaScript. The one I want is uh, teens learning code intro to browser extension in French. So I'm going to uh, just click here and uh, I can actually uh, see all the files here. I know that I want the uh, slides, so this one, the HTML, and I believe it comes with uh, whatever is inside here. I'm not sure if I need everything, but I'm going to just take everything. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I click on code and then I can get the URL here. So uh, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to use Glitch, which is a tool where I can host uh, different slides, I mean, um, HTML files for free. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to import from GitHub and I'm going to just paste the git, the dot git here that I got from GitHub from Canada Learning Code and click OK. Then it's going to take a little while, so I'm just going to pause the video while uh, it does its uploading. And here it is, so I'm hosting all of the uh, all of the files here on my free Glitch account. So if I go to uh, this one, which was slides.html, I can actually preview in a new window. Um, it was this one, the HTML file. And I can actually uh, see all of this. I can modify if I wanted to add a picture here and put my actual email. So I have access to these files that I can modify. Uh, I can also, if I want, change the, um, right now Glitch will give me a default URL. I can change it. So I'm going to do that now to get ready. So if I go to settings, edit project details, I can, instead of whatever default they get, they've given us, I can call it whatever I want. So this is a Chrome extension that changes all images to cats. So I'm just going to call it sha JavaScript. Uh, and then it's going to be my domain name. So if I go to preview, preview in a new window, we can see it's sha javascript.glitch.me. And then I'm going to do slash examples. So I can easily share this uh, URL with learners and I can go through these slides. Um, obviously, I'm going to make sure that these are all working, uh, but that's it. So it's a great way to host these open source um, slides that I can use to work with students if I wanted to host the website, the workshop myself. Um, yeah. So highly recommend these Canada Le Learning Code uh open source resources. Uh, they're great and I also recommend Glitch for hosting them.